Hello traders, good morning. Welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris Swarsik and we're going to take a look of course at that euro dollar and pound dollar. First of all, I wanted to quickly let you know that on our website uh, you will find a button join on Telegram and then you'll get the newest updates. Definitely uh, recommend that so feel free to join. Now looking at the euro dollar daily chart, we had two bullish days in a row as expected on Monday. Uh, we saw a continuation possibility there. Uh, let's take a look at the hourly chart. When we had price spiking to the upside here, or you know, impulsively moving higher, a flag as we indicated, and the break of that flag and continuation to the upside with a lot of momentum. Look at these diamonds appearing. Look at these fractals and candles way above the 21 EMA with growing space between these moving averages. All of that I explain how to analyze and use that in, in my SWOT course, by the way. And uh, yeah, you can get a free uh, access to that through a sponsorship from one of our brokers, by the way. Anyhow, uh, this is looking very much like a wave three. Uh, on last week, we were warning if it breaks above the 20 way, that could already be the bullish signal. We got a retracement and continuation. So this is looking to me like a wave one, two, uh, all of this probably part of a three at this moment. So how far can three go? Uh, let's take a look at that. I think that's the most important. Uh, well, second most important, maybe the most important is the fact that this is an ABC, as I mentioned on Monday. This is an ABC, and we should expect three waves down or five waves down after that, back into these long to moving averages, I think, around 114, 150. So uh, how far could this wave C go uh, of the bigger red A, B, C? Well, uh, logical targets are the minus 272 target. 118.90 and the 119.66 uh, actually uh, and the previous tops of course could act as a resistance zone so that's probably for the moment the target and if we get a strong reaction there it would confirm that ABC pattern and we might see that push down towards this this target zone at 114.115 but if price uh, goes sideways and makes a flag and breaks that flag of course then uh, forget the ABC pattern Price is in that case in an uptrend, and we might see price breaking above 120 and full-fledged, full uptrend. And this retracement was was it, and it was just quite a mild retracement um, for wave four. And because you know, typically waves four are way more expanded, way choppier, way more corrective. It doesn't have to be. It's a it's a guideline. It's not a must. So let's see. At the moment, the odds. Of an ABC, ABC, and then down are are the best. It seems the most likely. But if we get a up and a flag and then an up, well, then the uptrend is back in play and full full steam. Anyhow, uh, let's go down down to that hourly chart. So we're in that wave C probably, right? So wave one three, oh sorry, one two, and the three now of that C. So I'm expecting at any point, at one point at least, some wave four. Let's take a look at the targets. To see when we could expect that and we just hit the minus two target well that could be a logical level uh maybe one more push up towards uh, 11890 11880 118 119 this zone wouldn't be surprised so maybe still some small pullback bounce at the 21 ema and a continuation up to this zone and that's the point where we could see maybe the wave four uh, arise with some kind of bull flag or triangle pattern in that case we'll put the fib for on the wave three this price swing of the wave three. If it's here, we'll, if it ends here, we'll put it here. If it ends here, we'll put it here, of course. So where are the usual FIB retracement levels for wave four? 38.2 is the most likely at 118.13, but it could be the 23 or even the 50 FIB. So anywhere around 118 or 118.40 would be the end of the wave four and then the continuation higher into 119.50 basically. So not much space left, I think, until it hits some resistance zone. I think probably better for price to uh, to move up and then down and then look for the bounce, in my view, uh, for continuation for about 100 pips there, or 150 pips even, at the very least, uh, into that target zone. Um, yeah, that's about it probably for the moment. Let's take a look at Pound USD. And uh, let's take a look at daily chart we see price going sideways here 
Looks like ABC completed. I think here too, we look at an ABC up, just like the euro dollar. And it looks like within, uh, we have a finished A and a finished B with here ABC and B, as I mentioned. And uh, looks like price is trying to fight its way to the upside with breaking this trend line or or not hasn't broken yet but trying to break through it let me say it this way and uh above these fractals so let's take a look at the hourly chart it's not as impulsive as the euro dollar certainly a bit slower and brexit could be weighing in of course we got not much time left i guess and although the in my view the brexit process is kind of more in the back background maybe uh, not as um, you know up in front and center uh, in the news as much, unless you're really, of course, a Brexit, Brexit you know, pro person that follows the Brexit news closely, it doesn't kind of hit you as much. I, I, that's my feeling, at least. But of course, it's still a reality. It's still a fact that it's still going to have an impact the next months. Uh, and I think it's weighing in now already in the upside. The dollar weakness is not as much here with the pound USD. So upside could be way less interesting to trade than the euro dollar in my view. I think the euro dollar makes 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 much more sense. Although uh, I you know that wave C could certainly develop, but could be much more muted. Could be much less energetic. Um, let's take a look at fifty fib. Probably main target around. I don't know if this fib is correct. Let's, yeah, probably won't run. Probably around one thirty two. 131.60. Let's flip the fib on this side. Yeah, one 131.75. And I, I mean that will be an interesting zone to look uh, for a bounce to the downside. To be honest, because ABC would com be completed. One would expect maybe some uh, some bearishness at one point, just because of the process. So if it gets there, it could be good to look for a bounce. But let's see if we get a proper break because it hasn't broken yet. We would need to see a, a good four-hour candle. And I think also a break above this fractal is needed at 130.25. Otherwise, it's quite doubtful if the breakout is indeed taking place. Still in a triangle pattern. But if it does break here, uh, some small 125, 150 pips push could happen. And that's where I would expect quite a downside pressure to emerge on the cable. All right, that's it for now. By the way, don't forget our blog with the daily analysis and articles. Uh, we also have education, lots of material there, plus weekly, a ton of webinars, uh, sometimes more, but sometimes less, but always at least two a week. So check it out. And uh, yeah, a lot of things to discover, some sponsorships as well. And of course, if you're interested in trading options, or if you just want to stick to Forex and CFD, check out both tabs there for more info. Wish everyone great trading. I'll be back next week. See you soon. Cheers.